Hi. Now, in this video, we're trying to prove this result then using these two results here. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, you can compare your work solution and methods to mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this one, what we've got then is to prove that the sum of sigma of 2r minus 1 all squared with r going from 1 to n is equal to a third n times 4n squared minus 1. Well, what we need to do is just expand the bracket. The sigma acts over all the expansion, so we need to still keep it in brackets. And if we expand this, we've got 2r all squared, which is 4r squared. We get twice the product, so that's minus 4r. And then we get plus 1. And just put r equals 1 to n. So what we can do now is just apply the sigma over each of these terms. So for the first term here, this is the same as 4. And what I'll do is I'll write this in red here. Okay, just to draw your attention to it, it's the fact that it's 4 times sigma of r squared. r going from 1 to n. And then we've got minus 4 times, and I do that in blue here, we've got sigma of r. r going from 1 to n. And then we've got plus, and I'll just do this in brown here, We've got sigma of 1 with r going from 1 to n. And so when it comes to working out our results, we've got 4 times this standard result that we should be aware of. It is n over 6 times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. If you're unsure of these results, you can find these two in generally the formula book. Okay, so then we come on to the next term, which is minus 4 times, and sigma r going from 1 to n is n over 2, and that's multiplied with n plus 1. Now, this last one here, you're summing 1 n times over. Okay, 1 plus 1 plus 1, n times. So it's just going to be plus n. So we've got plus n. Okay. Now, what we can do is clean this up and hopefully head towards the answer. I can see that between the 4 and 6, let's cancel through by 2. So you're going to get that. And then on this one here, 2 into 2 goes 1, 2 into 4 goes twice. So if I've got to get a third n or n over 3, I'm going to pull that out as a common factor. So we've got n over 3, put a big square bracket here. So for this first term, it's going to be 2 times all of n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Whoops, let's put 2n plus 1 there. And then for this term here, this will just be minus 6, okay, to compensate for that 3 there. So it's going to be minus 6 times n plus 1. And then for this last term here, it'll have to be plus 3, okay? And then if we clean this up, you should find that when you group this all up, you end up with 4n squared minus 1. And there's your proof, okay?